Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have a special guest with us for the 91st Hamiltonian today at the Meadowlands, none other than NASCAR Sprint Cup driver extraordinaire Martin Truex Jr., the driver of the 78 Furniture Row, Bass Bro Shops, Toyota. And Martin, first of all, it's great to have you here at the Meadowlands. And B, it's been a busy day for you because you qualified earlier today at Watkins Glen for the race tomorrow. Yeah, we did. It's uh, definitely been a busy day so far, but it's been a fun day. It's great to see all the fans out here. A lot of people showed up with our gear and some, some die cast to sign and all that stuff. And uh, it's great to be back in New Jersey, my home state. So looking forward to uh, seeing a little racing here tonight. Now, your family's involved in the fishing business, but your dad did a lot of racing. Is that how you got into auto racing? Yeah, my dad and my uncles um, all raced you know cars at, at local tracks as I was growing up. So I grew up around it, yeah, and just as a little kid, I was like, oh, I got to do that someday. And uh, fortunately, you know, was able to do it. No matter what line of work anybody is in, you need a break at some time to uh, really get the opportunity to succeed. And your break was when you were sort of discovered, I guess, by Dale Earnhardt Jr. who hired you to drive his Bush car. Yeah, um, back in, uh, I guess, 2002, I started to talk to a few guys that worked there. Uh, fun, and, and a funny story, a guy that uh, from New Hampshire that volunteered on my Bush North Series car that my dad owned, um, knew a guy that worked at DEI, he was their head engine builder, and he mentioned my name to those guys, and then they started watching us, and we were winning a lot of races, and Dale was like, yeah, I'd love to give him a shot. He called us up. We started racing for him, for him and uh, the rest is history. So, yeah, I mean, uh, definitely caught a lucky break there and uh, been able to make the most of it. Dale Jr. once said, Martin Truex is like a big old stick of dynamite with a short little fuse. <laughs> Do you still have a bad temper? Or have you mellowed out a little bit? I've mellowed out a lot <laughs> over the years. Racing is a very frustrating business and a job especially. Uh, so I've mellowed out a lot over the years, but uh, definitely still get fired up in the race car. You get that helmet on and you flip that switch and it's all serious, you know, serious business and no screwing around. So you gotta be, uh, you know, you gotta give it all you got, that's for sure. Now your Furniture Row team switched to Toyotas this year with an alliance with Joe Gibbs Racing. It's amazing how quickly you've been successful and I guess you guys share a lot of information. It's worked out for everyone. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the switch couldn't have went any better. Um, the, everybody at Joe Gibbs Racing has really helped a lot. You know, I feel like I have four of the best teammates I've ever had, and we've only been together for about six months now. So uh, the teamwork, the communication is all going really well between our race teams, and that's why we're able to have so much success on the racetrack. I think that a lot of people think, oh, just the Toyotas are just that good right now, but it's really more than that. It's really a team effort, a lot of trust, a lot of communication between all the teams, and we've been able to make that turn into uh, great results on the racetrack. Martin, you dominated the Coca-Cola 600, leading almost every green flag lap. I don't think I've ever seen a car that good in my life. I never even saw a wedge wrench go into it. How do you know it was a car? Well, it sure did look <laughs> like a car or a rocket ship, one was, or the other. Yeah, no, it was uh, just one of those special uh, weekends, really. I mean, from the time we got to the racetrack, we were fast. We, you know, we qualified first. We led almost, in, you know, the whole race. Uh, and and the, the coolest thing for me and the most amazing part is that, you know, we led more miles than anyone had ever led in a NASCAR race in history. You think, you know, NASCAR going back to 1948 um, and no one else has been able to do that is just amazing. So many of my heroes in racing that I looked up to weren't able to do that. So it's, um, it's definitely a, a huge accomplishment for us, for our whole team, and it's something that we'll definitely never forget. Well, you've got to win. You're locked into the chase, but you easily could have five or six wins this year if not for some bad luck on pit road and uh, like Jimmy Johnson's transmission <laughs> locking up at Dover. I mean, just some bad luck has kept you out of the winner's circle. Yeah, we definitely have some bad luck. Uh, I'm not sure how to, how to shake it, how to get rid of it. Somebody gave me a horseshoe a few minutes ago. I'm hoping it's a lucky horseshoe. Um, you know, but, but all in all, really, I mean, we have that win. We're locked in the chase. And if we can just get this bad luck out of the way in the next five races so when the chase starts, we can just do what we need to do, win some more races, I think we'll be, good. We'll be in good shape. So we've got a great team. And, you know, sometimes uh, I just I don't know what you can do about the bad luck, but you just keep racing hard and try to get through it all. Well, what goes around normally comes around, so you should be in pretty good shape. Your cousin Tammy Truax owns some racehorses. She's involved in the race bikes and the wheels, that sort of thing. Is she going to talk you into buying a horse one of these I days? don't know. I think she's trying to. She's already thrown hints out at me. you got to check this horse out. you got to check this bike out. So I don't know a whole lot about this yet, but I'm starting to learn a little bit, and uh, it looks like it'd be something fun to get into. Well, we'll have to get you in a sulky sometime. They go about 35 miles yeah. an hour compared to 200 for you. Martin Truex, thanks so much for taking time from your busy schedule to join us. We'll have him back signing some more autograph folks and making the presentation for the Hamiltonian. Thanks again, Martin. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me.